Hello everyone, Jen Obvious here with a SAC Flight Unity video, the first one uh, in the series. So I will show you how to install uh, Sachan's new SAC Flight version 1.6 into your Unity project. The first thing you want to do is go to your Unity Hub, not the VRChat Creator Companion. You want to start a new project. Um, I don't recommend putting the SACFlight 1.6 over the 1.5. Uh, if you're advanced in Unity, then uh, you probably could. But uh, this is uh, going to show you how to do it on a new project. All right, so I made a folder already. And let's go to that. And this is where we're going to save our project. Uh, we'll just call it um, Sacklight version 1.6. All right, and then we're going to make sure it's 3D core, create project. It's going to load up Unity here with a brand new uh, Unity 2019. 431F1. That's the version you want to be using. Alright, so we just got a blank slate here. The first thing you want to do is import the SDK3 um, from VRChat. So open up your browser, go to VRChat.com. Alright, once you're to the VRChat website, click on download. You want to download SDK3 Worlds. Open. And it's going to import that package into, into your Unity project. Choose Import. Now once this um, SDK3 gets imported into your project, there's a weird thing. You have to update it at least, you know, like one time. So I'll show you how to do that. Okay, we've got the SDK loaded in. Now you're gonna wanna go up to the VRChat uh, show control panel screen and go ahead and sign in with your um, username and password. Okay, now that you're signed in, go ahead and close that. And the next thing you wanna do is update the VRChat SDK again. So you're going to go down to Utilities, check for updates, click on Download. It's going to open that screen. You've got to download it again. I don't know why it does that, but it does. So go ahead and import the package again. Import. And you just need to do it once, unless they have another VRChat uh, SDK update in the future. All right, so we've got that fully updated. Now we need Udon Sharp. Let's close this stuff out. Start pressure. Udon Sharp. GitHub by Merlin. Go down to latest. Scroll down to the Unity package. Click open. And import. And it's going to import Udon Sharp into your Unity project. We're getting it ready for the SAC flight system, so we got to put Udon Sharp in here. All right, great. Now, let's get another program called Cyan Emu. And that is GitHub. And I'll leave all these um, links in the description below. So you want to go over here to the latest again. Scroll down, and then you want to download the package, sign emu, click import, and this program is going to allow you to hit play and then be able to walk around in your editor, but not in VR chat, so you can change things and interact with things. All right, so we need a scene descriptor. Let's go ahead and get a scene descriptor. Go down here to VR Chat Examples, 
prefabs and go ahead and click that drag it into your hierarchy this is where your spawning point is going to be go over here in the inspector tab and reset that to zeros okay alright let's go back up to the VR chat SDK show control panel let's go over to builder and we gotta set up our layers so let's set up layers do it set collision matrix do it alright so we're all set up in that category let's hit play make sure there's no errors and close that now we can look around yep no errors everything's good hit escape button hit your play button to cancel that out all right now the next thing to do close this project hit X make sure you save Let's close all that out minimize that we don't need that now we're gonna go back to the web page go to the VR chat go to downloads download creator companion choose open yes it's gonna change stuff here I accept the agreement next it's gonna install creator companion VR chat on your computer this window will open up and we have no projects in here right now so we need to click add and let's find our folder I believe that is it right there and select folder now we have it in our project list click on it and you're gonna want to migrate it so click on migrate migrate in place I have a backup alright then this is going to pop up and over here you want to leave these alone don't remove them click open project then it's going to open your unity project kind of through creator companion okay now we are in creator companion slash unity um, and it is updating it finished doing its thing it's updating the scripting so we are good to go uh, let's go ahead and press the play button again make sure we have no errors and it's gonna come up with this window in order to use you must blah, 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 blah. Ex click exit play mode and this window over here you're gonna apply VR chat input access do it uh, just leave all this stuff alone unless you really want to change it uh, exit out then you're gonna hit play again it's gonna come up with this window hit accept Okay, now we're in we're using our client no errors we're walking around hit the escape button on your keyboard exit play mode and we're back to our unity screen now to put the SAC flight system in here go back to your website SAC flight. just trying to get there as quick as possible and we'll go to Sachan's website. Click on Large Update, latest 1.6. Scroll down, click on the zip file. Choose Open. Double click, and we'll import the package, SACLite package. Click Import. It'll take a little bit okay so we've got the SAC flight vehicle uh, 1.6 into our uni project and you'll notice down here you see the red just ignore that hit console clear all right 
Now you can, uh, you go down here to your sack flight and vehicles and prefabs and you can drag and drop after you've got your terrain and you've got to have something to stand on uh, so you don't spawn into the world and psh, fall right down. So you need a plane or a terrain or whatever, but and then you can drag and drop individual stuff. I'm going to show you how to put in the um, the scene that Sachan uh, made that has everything already. So if you go to the Sackflight Vehicle main folder, you'll see this right down here. Click, drag it up here into your hierarchy. Notice you'll get this import TMP. Just ignore that. Do not import TMP essentials. Leave this stuff alone. Close that out and it'll pop up sometimes. Just ignore it. Close it out. Okay, so once you get the SAC flight example in here, you've got to remove your original scene. So click on the sample scene up here and choose remove scene. It'll remove that and you'll be back here to the prefab that Sachan made. All right. Now, one thing you need to know, if you want to upload this scene, you have to click on your VRC world and right down here in the pipeline manager, you'll notice a blueprint. You need to detach that. So this is blank. If you do not do that, when you go to upload, you will receive an error. So make sure that if you if you're using the scene view, uh, the other way is OK. All right. So we've got the scene in here. Now we're going to upload this. I think we're ready to upload. Oh, before you do that, make sure you go up to SAC Flight and just click on Rename Layers, just to be safe. Okay, so I think we are ready. Oh, let's go ahead and hit the Play mode. Make sure there's no errors. And we should get our Cyan MU screen. Yeah, that window will pop up. Just ignore it. What? Uh, there we go. Okay. All right. Now we got it. Okay. So close that, and now we can walk around in the world. Right, escape. So it looks good in there. No errors. Close that annoying box out again. And I think we are ready to upload it. So control panel builder. Oh, disregard this. Uh, I know you guys probably know about this, but just ignore it. Don't choose auto fix. <laughs> All right, build and publish for Windows. And we're just going to upload this world and, and uh, show you that everything uploads correctly and no errors. Yeah, annoying box. And it's going to take a while to do all the shaders and everything else, so. But I'll, I'll show you uh, the beginning screen there. I'll go ahead and start the upload. And uh, you guys will know that it worked great. Okay, and we are at the Configure World screen. Uh, after a little bit there, so we'll go ahead and name it uh, Sacklight um, Testing. And we'll go there, click that. Do not check this box unless you want it public for in community labs for everybody to see. Otherwise, keep it private, hit that, and upload. And we're uploading the world, and I think that should do it, guys. Uh, you'll be able to find that uh, the world you uploaded in your mine list, mine world list, in VR chat. See you on the next uh, video, guys.